fat ass women in history. Um, Fanny Porter. So, this is a kind of a short article I got from uh, True West Magazine. Dot com. At the turn of the 20th century, Fanny Porter was running one of the most luxurious brothels in Texas. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. She was born in England in February 1873, but moved to the United States with her family when she was just one year old. By the time she was 15, she was working as a prostitute. Jesus. That's crazy. Uh, in San Antonio. And by the time she was 20, she had her own brothel. Sometime during those years, was married but soon widowed. I don't know why my phone turned dark. It seems like uh, I definitely have enough battery. But whatever. I hope it's recording well. Um, I'm going to read this regular. By the time... The wild, that's not even regular. By the time the Wild Bunch was making their way to San Antonio in the late 1800s, she welcomed the outlaws into her establishment. Broski. I gotta get into the Wild Bunch because I don't even know who that is. Her, bar, her bordello advertised itself as a boarding house. The house was said to have boasted fine glass fixtures, silk sheets, and plush carpeting. And for her special customers, including members of the Wild Bunch, she served chill champagne. For several years, the brothel served as a rest stop, hideout, rendezvous, and headquarters for Butch Cassidy and the rest of the Hole in the Wall gang. In fact, it was there that Harry Longbow, better known as the Sundance Kid, is thought to have met at a place. According to some accounts, the beautiful Etta was working at Fanny's place as either a prostitute, and it was Longbaugh who set her up as a teacher so she could start a new life. How about that? Harvey Logan, known as Kid Curry. Whoa. Also, man, I was thinking Kid Cuddy. Kid Curry. It's like an Indian Kid Cuddy. Also met his girl, Annie Rogers, at Fanny's brothel. Among the other Wild Bunch girls was Lawyer Boyan, Lily Davis, and Della Moore, a.k.a. Annie Rogers. After her lover, Harvey Logan, a.k.a. Kid Curry, was killed, she returned to Fanny's place, and after her days as a prostitute, she became a school teacher. Fanny attracted only the prettiest girls to work in her brothel. They practiced good hygiene and were dressed in the finest apparel. Now, this is all from this magazine. Yo, I didn't write this shit. And I'm just reading the accent that they wrote it in. By 1895, Fanny's establishment was one of the most popular in the entire West. Wild, wild West. Though Fanny was well-connected and operated the brothel for the most part without interference from the law, she does show an arrest for vagrancy in the late 1880s. Vagrancy was the term generally used in police reports to describe prostitution at the time. On the other hand, Fanny, who was described as a hard and shrewd woman, was also known to chase police officers from her place with a broom. The bitch was crazy. No offense. When the census was taken in 1900, Fanny's boarding house was called home to five women, ranging in age from 19 to 24. The last time, see, that's at least, because she started young. Whoever the fuck started her off young, that was fucked up. But at least in her, she was like, nope. 19 and up only, no 50. Because she knew, even back then in the wild, wild west, Fanny Porter fucking knew that at least, you know what I'm saying, wait. Uh, the last time the wild bunch is known to have visited her brothel was February 1901. A lot of February coincidences. That's my birthday. When they were between the bank robberies in Winnemucca, Nevada, and Wagner, Montana. With the law on their heels, the gang planned to split up and head in different directions. But before they rode out, for the last time, Fanny threw them a growing away party. Not long after, the Wild Bunch were either rounded up or left the country. Moral reform began to turn, nay, they probably went to Mexico. Moral reform began to turn against openly operating brothels. Fanny closed her house and faded from history. 
No one really knows what happened to old Fanny Porter. But we know she's resting in peace now. Yeehaw. Oh, shit, my drink. That's what I get. All right, appreciate y'all for joining. Let me turn the tunes up and we'll wrap this up.